Hello everyone. In this video tonight, let's do um, a relationship spread, <clears throat> a reading, a spread, uh, where we will look at, you know, how can we fix things in this relationship and um, what can each of you do. Uh, this is for any relationship, not only for romantic. So it can be your parents um, with your employee, also, it can be a romantic, it can be with a friend, it can be with a partner, it can be a difficult relationship or just awkward, you know. So, I'll have a look at um, what are you doing right and what are you doing wrong and what could you do in this relationship. Also, the same for the other person and situation, problem, advice, outcome as well as negative and positive influences that either help or don't help this relationship. So I've tried on myself and with some people in my family and, um, uh, you know, relatives and mainly this reading and it seemed to be really accurate. And I'm going to use reverse cards, cards for this. Um, I usually don't use reverse cards and I never used reverse cards in my life. But I want to experiment a little bit. I want to see if I'm missing out on something. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to try. So, okay, if you'd like to participate in this video, in this reading, please think of a person. It can be anyone. It can be your best friend. It can be partner, romantic. It can be your spouse, your, your pet, anyone, okay? And we'll start and choose a deck and we'll start this reading. And take your time, please. <clears throat> Have it chosen. So let's start with our deck number one Cosmic Tarot. Sorry, which is Tarot? <clears throat> looks like cosmic tarot okay okay first let's have a look situation problem advice outcome in the situation, positive influences that help the situation, negative influences that don't help the situation. Also, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and what you should do in this relationship with this person. And what does that person do right, what they do wrong, and what they should do in this relationship to see <clears throat> who's right, you know, where is the balance and things like that. So let's start. Situation is the wheel of the year card. And this shows basically that things are happening pretty smooth, that it could be some sort of uh, fated relationship, karmic, spontaneous, um, unexpected, or a relationship where some sort of luck and fate plays a role. So, so overall, we can uh, talk about the fact that <clears throat> it's pretty smooth, things are happening, it's pretty okay. Um, it seems an important relationship, maybe destined, you know, a relationship with this person. It seems like it's not an accident, that sort of thing. Also, uh, it's really going well. It could be that it's going well and it's kind of moving and there is this fluidity and things like that. Also, this card can bring a change in a relationship. Uh, for example, new like if things were stuck, so now they are moving, changing. Something's new about to happen, and um, 
seems promising. Things seems promising, basically, with this card. Now, let's have a look what is the problem here. Well, the three of wands reversed. We are using reversals in this reading. And with this card, uh, with the reversals, it may seem that there's something wrong uh, with the future, with the plans, how you look at these, uh, at this relationship. Maybe you don't believe deep down that this might work out or it doesn't make sense for you in a longer term, like uh, this relationship. It could be a third party involved in the relationship that, that doesn't really make sense. Also, we have a situation where you might see no future with this, like there is no hope or something. Um, perhaps uh, there is some sort of like cheating situation happening. Let's say um, there's a third party mingling somewhere in between you two. So it's something like seems to be very lucky and things are happening and things are very smooth but it's already when it comes to the future and planning there's something not adding up like um yeah like it's unrealistic or it's not successful it doesn't work out or something like that okay so let's have a look what is the advice is the ones reversed most likely the advice is don't do it if if you feel that it's not happening or that it clashes with your some sort of um, um common sense for example maybe it's not now or it's not for you let's see if there is someone third in this relationship if something bothers you if there are red flags you could say just don't do it Um, so to say, like, uh, if we had this so once upright, it would be like, go, go ahead and do it. But with this card, I think there was this, um, discouragement going on. We'll have a look later. I mean, some, sometimes we should not go with it in the relationship. So let's have a look. Outcome, the hangman. Most likely, you will not change the situation. It'll be the way it is. It's often coming out when you'd rather postpone or procrastinate rather than make a very quick decision about how to go about the situation. So it's in a way like a sacrifice and wanting to wait and wanting to wait and see, you know. Maybe things will change in the future and things like that. You know, maybe you want to just kind of do nothing, for example, about this. Most likely you will do nothing. And uh, we'll kind of wait and see what will happen in the future with this relationship. Also... Yeah, also whatever action feels like sacrifice, you might choose that path. If waiting is a sacrifice, then it could be that. If being in an unhappy relationship seems to be like a sacrifice, you might do that. So let's have a look. What are the helping factors in a relationship? We have the King of Pentacles. Uh, you know, with the King of Pentacles, we might actually have, you know, like... Financial interest, for example, maybe you work with this person, maybe you have to be in a relationship with this person, maybe you earn well while being with this person, maybe it's good for you materialistically, financially, and there's a sense of security, and maybe it seems like, like easy to be there, and uh, like a practical thing to do. Uh, maybe it's financially good, maybe it's a, uh, you know, colleague uh, here or some sort of, like, a uh, mm, partner in business, you know. So that sort of situation. Um, 
maybe there's something you get from this relationship, like something physically, like comfort or some sort of, uh, if it's romantic and be intimate relationships, if it's working, maybe your job depends on this person. So you get that. What are not helping influences? Eight of Pentacles, upside down. Uh, not helping influences, I feel like you feel uselessness somehow here in this relationship, like it doesn't work. Even if you do a work, you don't enjoy it. And if you are in the relationship, you don't enjoy it. You know, that um, process of being, I feel you don't enjoy it. There's a sense of these two cards, lack of uh, vision, like lack of believe that this might be helpful for the future, that this can bring something to the future. So it's like futility or something, um, like useless efforts, you know, that even though there is a, something a little bit that you get out of this, most likely there's a lot more than you do not get from this. Like there might be boredom, there might be some sort of the depression <clears throat> when it comes to your growth you don't feel like you're growing uh, here so I think even the cards might say you know don't do it because it doesn't bring you anything uh, it's not worth it for example you know the wheel of uh, fortune can also talk about a potential relationship let's say it's something that didn't happen yet or maybe it's some sort of prospect for the future that you're wondering about and you don't know yet there's an opportunity for you to be in this relationship and you wonder whether to take this opportunity or not so this card's kind of not good here like it will not help your being with that person and if it's also there is an involvement of work and career so that it will not help your career although it might help in a way, but on a longer run, it might not. Okay, so let's see, what are you doing right when being in the relationship with this person? We'll have Page of Cups. So it can be your romantic nature, your good nature, and hopeful, innocent type of <clears throat> nature, even romantic you know, intentions when it comes to this person, they might be very good thing, you know, like being a good person, friendly, and um, kind of nice person, and kind of friend, you are maybe friends with them, so this is a great thing that you're doing, yeah, this is kind of all, all is well with that, your friendliness and goodness, now what is the negative things when that you that what is the uh, things that you're doing that you shouldn't do is the nine of cups reversed and with this card we have some sort of maybe you don't want to be with them like really you don't want or maybe there is something like um, like something that doesn't feel right uh, like you're forcing yourself to be with them For some of you can be in order to be with them you sacrifice something about you for example maybe you're like lying to yourself and maybe you do things that you don't want to do for example if you don't drink you have to drink while, while being with this person or you always end up doing things you don't want to do when you're with this person. So it's kind of like forcing yourself. Being too nice somehow. Okay, what you should do when it comes to this person, temperance. You should not rush with this person. You should be as slow as you can. Think about it. Take Drag time. Take your time. Try to be also very a bit cold when it comes to this person. Um, it can be having your space and kind of being 
a little bit not so emotional you don't have to say yes or you don't have to give your answers right now temperance is basically when we're nice and but nice in a kind of cold way um we are watching what we're saying you know we um, kind of can be friends with that person you know can advise to be friends and talk nicely to that person um but there has to be some sort of a bit um controlling of your emotions not saying the whole truths that you feel with this person it could be having a good relationship with this person but not necessarily uh emotional or love you know so that sort of situation okay so i would say it's all great you it advises you to be with that person be friends be like a bit diplomatic and kind of quiet non-conflicting you know that sort of thing but also not to emotional control your emotions here okay let's have a look at their what they're doing right seven of pentacles reversed it seems like some sort of and maybe impatience maybe um, uh, like financially it could be uh, some actions that they're doing you know like they might be more active when it comes to this relationship maybe from their perspective they this is the right thing that they're doing maybe they're the active one here maybe they're kind of initiating and in this situation maybe there are some financial decisions that they made that um, could be um, could be seen as good from your perspective also sometimes can be also that they on the upside down like they don't do anything they don't have they don't do any action and they are not waiting for you you know some sort of like in a rush they are and maybe they are rushing away with other people maybe they're rushing away from this situation so let's just see what they're doing wrong. six of wands well wrong can be they are it also kind of pretending I feel that they are also could be pretending, you know, acting that everything is fine, that everything is okay, you know, that it's all great and that there is no, uh, so to say, no problem in this relationship. So they might always put that smile on their face and pretend that all is great and they might act invincible that there is no problem whatsoever so you might feel some sort of fakeness in it so they shouldn't act what they don't feel i feel that because feelings are might be different so what is their advice for them five of cups well five of cups is kind of a card of kind of sad card card of sadness so i think sometimes can be for them to reflect in real life the real situation that is happening they should accept and admit that things are not perfect and they should explain to you or show it to you that they are not satisfied that there are problems that there is something that they're sad about they should not act and pretend um, let's see it might talk about a relationship that people are in but they're not really happy so this card could uh, advise for them to um, tell the truth or at least tell the truth to themselves you know because if someone is pretending and pushing it then most likely you'll feel something is off and you will not be able to understand what's happening so there are many money uh, money cards and work cards here 
uh, kind of like career, future goals, ambitions. So it can be a working relationship for some of you. It could be for some of you mixed working and friendship at work, for example. For some of you it could be just marriage or something like that. It's still, I think you're both forcing your happiness, pretending. Um, so yeah, Ace of Wands reverse says that don't do it, you know, don't force yourself if you don't want to. And um, yeah, that sort of situation. So this was our reading number one. Please share in the comments. Did it make sense? Uh, because I use reverse cards. It's not the natural thing to do for me. But I want to try it out. Let's move on to our deck number two. This is Rider weight Tarot. So let's have a look at this relationship situation, problem, advice, outcome, also positive influences in this relationship and negative influences. Also, let's have a look at what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and what you should do. What are they doing right, what they are doing wrong, what they should do. And kind of helps to understand uh, where you're standing in the relationship. Is that you're doing something wrong or are they doing something wrong? Situation, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands can talk about again, like a new relationship or some sort of like very enthusiastic emotions that uh, have, are related to this relationship. So it can be, again, like a beginning... It can be something that you're excited about. Maybe you and that person are excited about. It can be physical attraction between you two if it's a romantic. It can be some, you met someone at a new job or some sort of trip, you know. For some people, yeah, so it can be that oh, excitement. For some people, you can even talk about a violent relationship. If the Ace of Wands is too strong... It can talk about like violence, domestic violence, and things like that. Yeah, so, so that sort of thing. Overall, it's kind of positive feel going, exciting, you know, active. And so let's have a look what can be the problem here. Page of Swords, Page of Swords here definitely could uh, mean some sort of again intense emotions. You know, uh, maybe uh, for someone, let's say, who's a student, it could talk about that this problem being a student. For some of you, it can be a problem, some sort of um, of let's say some sort of confusion and it can be literally spying this card can talk about feeling that person is talking you spying you it can be some sort of knowledge obsession that someone is studying you because it's a student, so they're kind of very intelligent and their whole focus is on you, intellectual, mental focus. So that sort of situation. Of course, this is a car of storms and uh, can sometimes show conflicts because to these cars very feel very conflicting, perhaps. Um... Okay, so I'm not sure what this could be. To be honest, let's pull, uh, let's open one more card to see what could be happening. Because the advice is confidence. You have to be confident and you have to be uh, kind of stronger than that person and override that person with your power and with your confidence. Uh, cards, as you can see, pretty um, agitated elevated I don't know how to put the all rising their hands up as if there's something big going on 
like some ego fight or struggle who's right you know who is more who's better who's more intelligent so I feel that here with the magician a good uh, advice for you to um, simply uh, over smart them or be um, kind of very um, self-reliant and like sort of manipulate the situation you know control have it under your control somehow like you have the power to control and manipulate the situation sometimes it, you need this in a relationship um, doesn't seem to be good the word manipulation but but I feel that in this particular case it might be the only not the only but one of the ways how you can behave a uh, page of swords can also be a criminal card for example if you're asking about a difficult child who is into uh, who's naughty who likes doing things that might be considered even illegal and let's see if you have a person like that in your family or around it can totally show danger of criminal behavior difficult children some sort of even violence and threats it can be guns you know even things like that so for that here you cannot just watch you have to be super strong and kind of take things in your own hands and kind of take have the situation under control what will happen we have the king of pentacles seems that the outcome is going to be pretty calm it will not escalate to any um, to any sort of dramatic situation but of course uh, it shows a financially good outcome so you can benefit from this situation somehow and there's gonna be maybe uh, some sort of someone else who's gonna be involved it could be some man who's gonna get involved and um, somehow like um, calm down the situation calm the situation down also if it's a business or something like that studies business you might earn a lot of money from this and whatever it is it can doesn't have to be a criminal child it can be also like a good cards for career someone you work with but if you implement your self confidence and if you overcome your fears you might actually end up benefiting from this what are the helping uh, factors in this situation so we have the two of swords reversed you know helping factors could be uh, the fact the situation that was before kind of stuck it's uh, opening up it's releasing itself and things uh, start moving so it can be that this moment of not knowing or doubting it's getting into the past also if there was ignorance you might now know the truth um, in the situation so it can be like things are moving now you know that sort of feeling also, if there has been any lies um, in the situation, it could mean that you're, they, they're helping you somehow because you are now seeing the truth. Okay, let's have a look at what are the positive things that are happening. What are the helping factors? King of Cups can be someone's goodness. It could be someone's inner uh, guidance in a way that... It could be your own inner guidance, for example, inner some sort of intuition that's guiding you, inner intelligence, so to say. And it could be someone else's inner intelligence. It can be a good friend and their advice, for example. Um, it could be some sort of even a good idea or, you know, like peaceful idea of how to go about things. It could be the cause that you believe in or it could be your love for that person, for example, uh, or their love to you that's helping you to get through this. 
So some sort of very loving either thoughts of someone or someone's inner intelligence um, that, how to say, the maturity emotional of someone, like being a good person. It might be helping in this case. So, yeah, that sort of situation here. Let's have a look at what you're doing right in this relationship. The world card could mean that you've decided to um, maybe uh, not have false expectations. Let's see, be more realistic. Uh, maybe... Uh, Some sort of giving up in a way, uh, in some aspects, having seen the situation for what it really is, as if you admitting your failure, or as if you're admitting that yeah, I cannot do anything here. This is it. My dream will not come true anymore. So some sort of like facing the reality and accepting the reality. I feel that this could be um, uh, the good thing that you're doing also some sort of lack of not appearing out there not being out there for example not contacting them or not being available in some cases this can be a good thing for example not logging in your social media accounts and not socializing with them so not being available out there on the internet something like that could be a good thing that you're doing Okay, um, let's have a look. Now, medical meanings start coming in for me. Uh, maybe it's also a medical problem that is to do with that person, and you maybe are pregnant. Maybe you need to see a doctor, it says. Maybe that shows you'll be paying money to the doctor. Maybe, you know, I don't know why. Anyway, okay, so let's move on. I'm not sure about that, of course. Uh, it can be anything. It can be um, unlimited variety of relationships. What you're doing wrong? We have the Ten of Cups reversed. Family reversed. Well, with this card, it's kind of... Again, it's showing some sort of disappointment in the family and wanting to fight with your loved ones and with your family members. Maybe distancing yourself from the family, maybe being upset and sad when it comes to the family. It can be complete anger at everyone and everything here, you know. Maybe you want to break off all ties with that person. So this kind of... They were similar to the cards, kind of. So maybe that is not the right thing to go about the situation. Let's have a look. What you should do? Nine of Pentacles not makes sense. Nine of Pentacles, it's absolutely... Um, the card of practicality and lack of extremes. If you're super angry, it does feel like super angry. Um, it could talk about um, being calm and just being as calm and careful and low risk type of person at the moment as possible. Um, don't do anything crazy. Um, so to see it kind of says take things under your control but when it comes to maybe emotions and feelings it could say try to be as normal as you can as practical as you can as safe as you can you know as grounded as you can like what other normal people would do in your case you should do that like calm down as much as you can emotionally calm down and um and don't rush, just do it slowly and calmly. 
you can take things in control while being calm as well so it talks about some sort of like grounding and slowliness and um, you know being sensible like not being emotional I really like the feeling of this card such as slow and calm and if the advice is like that it could tell you that it's possible to overcome this calmly okay let's have a look at there what they're doing right here well six of swords can be they're running away or they are again separating from you distancing themselves from you just like you are same thing so you both uh, if they're leaving if they are leaving this relationship if they're not talking i think that's the right thing to go for them maybe it's in a way for them also has been difficult so they want to recover it can also show the scar it can come the scar can show up when they want to proceed with the proceeding with trying to do things in order to fix this for example like um, despite of you not wanting they would still start they would still do things you know so in that case this could be um, saying that they're doing the right thing what they're doing wrong it shows work, some sort of business. They always working, doing something. So this is that what they're doing wrong. That this is what they shouldn't do. Maybe they're doing what they were doing always. They're not kind of stopping. Maybe it's the work, the job that they're doing. Maybe it's the same activity that they've been doing. They're still doing, which is not good for them advice for them just stop it you know just stop doing whatever you're doing just leave it so um so it's hard to understand for me of course because i'm not aware what's happening in your relationship even if it's a love relationship or a working one but you might be annoyed by their activities totally they feel like they are just ignoring things and they keep doing maybe they should give up um, maybe sh they should accept that they are failing here maybe they should accept that there is not going to be some sort of uh, outcome here with you so that sort of reading it's weird because I cannot understand anything what's happening so if you'd like to share I'll be appreciating that okay in the comments if you'd like to talk about the situation it'll be very interesting so this is our reading number two let's move on to our deck number three we have every day which tarot deck using reversals this time relationship dynamics let's have a look situation problem advice outcome also helping influences not helping influences what you're doing right what you're doing wrong what you should do what they're doing right what they're doing wrong what they should do when I did for myself, I felt that everything was very clear, super clear with this uh, with this spread and these cards. But now that I'm doing for others, it feels like I'm totally lost. So let's see, maybe you can understand uh, the meanings. The situation is a page of swords. It can be a conflicting situation in the relationship. It can be a professional situation like you know you're studying or working together. So. You know that sort of kind of uh, neutral it can be card you know you're studying together or working or you there's lots of intellectual activity going on maybe you're talking to each other a lot and 
maybe you might feel that someone is spying you or you're spying others because this card can mean a spy and being too inter interested in the other um let's have a look what is the problem three of one three of wands again the problem can be um, a lack of vision, not believing that this can work out, not um, some sort of not have, not knowing what you want, maybe, and uh, like a very low prospects when it comes to this relationship, uh, when it comes to the future. So you might not know how can this work out or what can happen. So that sort of situation. What is the advice? Six of Wands. Reversed. Well, reverse Six of Wands can be talking about don't believe in appearances, don't believe in someone acting too popular or, you know, something like that. Don't believe in the success of it. Um delay this relationship and uh, it can also say that someone is telling you lies <clears throat> okay and and so this card will talk about don't trust things that you see you know and um there's something going on um uh, and this card has a meaning of a cheating going on if it's reversed some sort of wrong appearances, wrong popularity, you know, things like that. What's the outcome for Swords? Well, this card mm, doesn't seem to be like a really, um, like something that's going to happen dramatic. This card would talk about a break, resting from this relationship, taking a break, a pause. Uh, sometimes can mean sex if it's romantic. And uh, but yeah, and there's a calm period. I mean, between you, like nothing is happening for for some time. But it again depends on the situation. Let's have a look at. What are the helping factors? Nine of Cups points to friendship and romance and uh, good feelings, friendly feelings and somehow this is what helps the relationship. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, like attraction towards each other and uh, maybe they proposed you, maybe you proposed them, you know or like in India they say propose, but it might mean just ask out someone. So they might talk about some sort of interest um, and friendship or offers and good things that are happening. But it could say that this person is just about um, Let's don't make conclusions. Let's open this card. Negative influences. The star reversed. <clears throat> well, the star reversed, I think, all the fantasies and hopes that um, they're not kind of true. They're not helping. It could also talk about that there are no opportunities uh, for you to meet or there's some sort of Mm, like you like the person or but there is no ab ability to meet each other um, that sort of situation maybe it can also represent some sort of negative aspects of being famous for some people like six of ones and star kind of have similarities and they both reverse so maybe too popular negative aspects of popularity it could also represent a female another female that is playing some sort of negative role 
in your relationship. So, so yeah, this uh, can talk about maybe a romantic relationship where, let's say, it's kind of futile from the beginning, um, you know, and uh, maybe there's a third angle or maybe there's just some sort of hopelessness going on when you think about it. So overall, the wor- the best case scenario that might happen here might be have uh, like sexual relationships, mm, but I don't know if they can take you somewhere permanent. Also, it could simply say that you'll be quiet about each other. You will not interact, and there's just gonna be this silence. So, what you're doing right in this relationship? We'll have the hangman reversed. Well, with this card, maybe what you're doing right is you stopped feeling like a victim. You decide um, that you will not be a victim. You decided that uh, you will not do what's needed here. You will not initiate in this. Um, so basically... These things could be the positive, the good that you're doing here um, in this relationship. Maybe overweighting. It can be your doubt and absolutely nothing that you did in order to be with this person or solve it. So this was apparently a good strategy, especially if this person is... I don't know, maybe involved with someone or not not as interested as the act. N- what you're doing wrong? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Here I could talk about some sort of maybe abandonment of yourself it could be abandonment of even how you look in some cases oh, absolute um, kind of hiding from that person not doing anything to be visible not kind of showing your interest towards that person, at least in appearance. He he cannot or she can tell from you the way you look that you're interested. Like, you don't care about your, what impression you make and you wouldn't do anything to make them feel that you're interested, like you're trying or something. So, it's something like that. Maybe you're in your own world, like you don't come out of it. Something like that. Now, what you should do. We have the lovers. Well, in some cases, it could be thinking positively about a person and being kind of friendly with the person. Um like friends or partners or just being, you know, kind of friendly. Also, it could indicate kind of testing, you know, the traditional meaning is a test that you put another person to tr- to check them out, how honest they are and is this real love, for example, or is this real partnership so you might want to somehow look at the signs and put them to test and see if you can uh, find out if this person is suitable for you so it kind of suggests that you could try maybe more to to be with that person maybe you can not completely give up uh, in the beginning, but do something about it, 
but in a careful way as if you are just choosing you know like you're choosing okay now what are their what are they doing right here they also kind of juggling playing maybe flirting maybe um having two relationships at the same time that sort of situation maybe they're very fun and acting and talking and kind of very cheerful so this is what they're doing right what they're doing doing wrong we know once it could say that they have another person that they're not telling you about and despite of that other person is still very cheerful and talking and nice with you um Maybe they're too ambitious. They're too ambitious and too seductive when it comes to you. Or maybe they're hiding someone that they have in um, at home. Or, you know, or maybe they are too active when it comes to this. They're over-trying, so to say. What they should do, we have the Queen of Swords. Most likely, they should be more honest and tell you, the way things are and be more honest and have more because you know the two of pentacles can sometimes be someone who's bluffing or just pretending or acting you know like uh, an actor entertainer um, so they should be more kind of serious and more just mature i feel somehow not you didn't have to flatter people that much you don't have to do all these things and uh, they could be who they are especially this person is a bit uh has a mean streak for example mean as in scorpio mean uh they should just show it they should not pretend or hide it okay so again didn't make sense for me but i hope it did for you our reading number three let's move on to our last deck number four Our deck number four, classic tarot deck using reversals. And I think, I don't know, how is it going here with the reversals? So, situation, problem, advice, outcome, positive influences of a relationship, negative ones, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, what you should do, what they're doing right, wrong, what they should do and I have to finish this in eight minutes so let's let's have a look quickly what's happening between you two and of pentacles could be work working relationship work is happening things are happening it's in process relationship in process what's the um, problem three of pentacles reversed Prob it can be problems at work not knowing uh, your thing the way you do it feeling that you're not good at your job sometimes can uh, talk about not fitting in in the team um maybe a job that doesn't pay well that sort of situation and uh, things like that so that might affect this relationship maybe it's a working relationship what is the advice advice is to pentacles of course and uh, I think it's effort, it's trying, you know, doing your best, although it's difficult, mm -hmm. and there are many problems. Mm -hmm. So I feel it's kind of trying to juggle it the way it is, you know, it's trying to handle it the way it is, you know, because I feel like it's hardly possible for you to kind of do it properly but i think this card says just try work with what you have do do your best in the situation that is imperfect uh, most likely outcome here if i'm reversed it can be a very unusual outcome um can be you you'll end up being not the way people are usually not like there's gonna be some sort of not a traditional outcome um something weird is gonna come out of this <sighs> if it's a marriage 
you know, where a third person is involved. It could be that. It could be that in the end, it's going to be not the way it's usually supposed to happen. So the outcome is a bit unusual, for example. Also, it could be the dilemma that you will end up not being so sacrificing and you'll maybe not be able to handle this in the end. So what are the helping factors? The high priestess, it can talk about, you know, knowledge and, uh, you know, your intellectual state. It can be the environment of university or school and uh, some sort of intelligent people involved here, you know. It can also talk about some helpful female there and what the negative influences Negative influences could talk about definitely disappointment, cheating, and uh, someone's some sort of dishonor, some sort of like a criticism or some sort of uh, betrayal is going on. So lies can be, it can be betrayal. So this is a negative influence that's happening. The high priestess going to symbolize a secret relationship that is not known by others. So what you're doing right here, Seven of Cups, you have many ideas, you're dreaming, some sort of fantasies are there, maybe it's the right thing to do in this situation. Hopes, choices, fantasies, options, maybe you're just choosing, maybe you're just thinking. What is the negative here, Ace of Cups? It could be love. If you're emotionally involved in a working relationship, this can be working not in a positive way for you. Uh, too much uh, emotions, too much love, you know, in this case can be a negative thing. And uh, intuition, using too much intuition and wanting to help maybe, it can be not a good thing. What you should do... Well, you should not think so pessimistically about the situation. You should kind of get up and move on. And um, this can be your kind of victory in this situation. This can be a very good thing, whatever is happening. So don't feel so depressed. Um, the advice could be getting up from a negative situation and looking at it as if it's a positive situation for you somehow. What are they doing right uh, Queen of Swords reversed. Well, it talks about, um, bluntly speaking, it can be incompetence and stupidity and uh, not knowing their thing and not being very uh, sharp and uh, intelligent somehow. So it could be also they refuse to play by the rules, they refuse to be mean, they refuse to be... A traditional and things like that it could be that this is maybe what they're doing right what they're doing wrong king of pentacles reverse well with this card it could be that they're misusing some sort of power uh, at work for example it can be corruption it can be taking bribes mis mishandling money you know finances um, doing something uh, with the documents, you know, so this could be coming here, the hair of in reverse, some sort of not nice, not being uh, honorable in, in many ways, and what they should do, judgment, um, well, judgment could be legal action here, uh, telling the truth, telling everyone what's happening, uh, open the can of wor worms, so to say, in this situation, <clears throat> and uh, somehow rebuild the whole situation, clean it up, detoxify that whole workplace or a relationship, and something like that. So they have to come clean with them, their own consciousness, something like that. Uh, they have to face that inner judge. So I don't know if this made sense for you, this reading. Please share in the comments. Did the reversal reading make any difference? Should we use reversals next time from now on? And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.